welcome back to my channel. I am Admiral Funko, and we are going to do a What I Got in July Funko Pop haul. Instead of doing weekly hauls, daily hauls, or whatever I got a Hot Topic today, because I just feel like just doing a, a whole month in general when it comes to the Funko Pops, because literally there would be times where I will buy no pops and, and uh, you know, like two or three pops. So I'd rather just compile it all into one month video. So we're going to do What I Got in July because it's, it's just easier for me that way. Because usually what happens is they, they're in piles around me right now. I just compile everything into one room, and then I come in here to shoot videos, and then I organize the collection. So you're gonna see what I got in July. And of course, in July, we had San Diego Comic-Con. Hi, Ryan! <laughs> Hi! Um, San Diego Comic-Con happened in July, and there were like 33 other people on YouTube. 33 is the number I'm gonna stick with. 33 other YouTubers did a San Diego Comic-Con video. Some went to, actually went to Comic-Con, I couldn't afford to go to Comic-Con, and I had to work. And then just people going out on hunts and everything, and I was just like, eh, you know, it's... It's not really... Really my thing anymore. <laughs> I was never into doing hunt videos, I know you guys like watching hunt videos, I might do some live hunts instead because every time I've done that I've gotten a good kind of feedback from it so I did have an encounter with someone who knew me from my channel um, she came up to me and she's like oh I knew you because you know I watched Jetta Patrol and then I found your channel I love your channel I knew you were in Charleston by the way if you're seeing this I would love to have Funko Pop friends um, fans are like it to me because I, I can't envision myself as someone who has a fan granted that's pretty much what the individual is, is she was a, a fan of my channel, um, but if you ever want to go out Funko Pop honey with me and just hang out and have coffee, you know, I'm always, I'm always down to make friends, because that's how I met my pals Nerd Crew, and they were fans, quote unquote, but now they're personal friends, because we all need some collecting friends in this world. So we're gonna go through this one by one, I'm gonna show you guys what I got, in no particular order, and we'll just get right into it with what's in front of me. So I did pick up Rosie the Riveter. Love this pop. I love all the American history pops that are coming out. I need these in my life. I need them in my life. Like, seriously. I love American history and I love military pops. Anything, anything to add to my heritage as a United States Navy sailor will definitely help. And I love her and the We Can Do, post we can do It poster. This is a great pop. Next up, I got the, the Minerva pop. And the reason why I got this one for San Diego Comic Con was because... She needs to go in the Marvel collection. The entire Marvel collection is over here on the floor, eight high. And I am trying to complete the Marvel and the DC collections, which is never gonna happen, especially the DC collection, because if you've seen the price on some of those chases, it's never gonna happen. So I picked up the Nerf. Of course, and the next one that I picked up, I had to get the flocked fox. I love the Phoenix. I love the idea of the Phoenix. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a Phoenix tattooed on my arm because I'm from Phoenix and the Phoenix represents rebirth and um, this, I haven't taken it out of the box, checked the fluffiness of it, but it looks pretty fluffy. One of the only Harry Potter pops that I want. I don't collect Harry Potter pops at all. Like, I have I have some pops over here, like the Basculus and, you know, um, Akami. Of course, I got, like, some 8-inchers some and some 10-inchers and, of course, some 3-packs. So I have the original trio, and then unless they're not a villain, so, like, Beltrex and Lucius and Lord Voldemort and Snape, they pretty much left my collection and found their new home with uh, my friend Sammy over at Nerd Crew ended up inheriting some of my Harry Potter pops because I'm just not into Harry Potter unless they're a villain. So I grabbed Fox. Now this next pop I picked up is just like... Yeah. I picked up the blue chrome Batman and looking at my wall, I now have a Batman in chrome gold, red, and blue. I still need black and orange, but I picked up the blue chrome Batman because I like the color of this one, of the teal Batman. And yes, I am going to do a video on why I have a, a bleh for chrome pops. And I'll probably make it right now after this one, but blue chrome Batman. And these guys are heavy. Um, the, these guys were the... Um, Every time there's a Comic-Con, every single Comic-Con I've experienced for the last six years, there's always the, the the pack that everybody wants or the pop that everybody wants and they're scarce of. For some reason, Kang and Kodos were super rare to find. Like, some GameStops were getting one or two. My GameStop... Now, you have to remember, there's like 
15 game stops within like a 10 mile radius of me and that is a big exaggeration there are so many game stops and so many think geeks mine the one that i went to only had two and i was just there was only two people in line because there wasn't really a big crowd when it came to san diego comic-con this year i didn't have an issue with it so i was able to grab one i just remember seeing the the drama on facebook unfold about these two and I was surprised because I know The Simpsons are a big hit. They've been going, they've been on, they, they're, they're going on 30 years. They started in 1988. So about, by the end of this year, probably 31 years of The Simpsons and they're creating pops and the rare pops are still, you know, they, they made an original run when they first started Funko. They had the main, the main family, you know, Homer, Marge, Simpson, Maggie, and Bart, Lisa, I believe. I believe they had the original family, now they're remaking them. And now they're doing the Treehouse of Horror stuff, which is fantastic. It was the only real pack that I was just like, I really want this. Because I don't have any Simpsons Pops. I have five. They're over there on the wall, by the way. I don't know if there's any in the stack today. But I was just surprised the drama over this and the amount of complaining about these two. Um, but there's no... There's no limit on these guys. There might have been a shipping issue, but I think the reason why there was such a limitation on this two-pack... Um, and hear me out. This is my theory. Think about how many GameStops... I think I, I researched it. There's about 4,500 GameStops in the United States, not including other places. Plus, you have to think about ThinkGeek. ThinkGeek owns GameStop, or GameStop owns ThinkGeek. Either way, they're a joint venture together, so... You have to think about how many stores had to get these, how many warranted them, and you gotta go back into that slot, supply and demand factor. So you got 4,000 stores in theory, and Funko has to supply each of them with an even amount. Some stores got more because they probably have a higher, it's like, it's like elections. It's like the electoral college. Every store gets so many votes in a way. What's up, kitty cat? Every store gets so many pops based off of their population density. And I know a lot of people are like, well, one, one two-pack per one store, and there's 15 of us that want that one two-pack. That's not fair. But that's kind of how I saw it. It was like, we got so many, um, only so many pops can go to so many stores because of how many stores supply and demand. I gotta do a video on that. But, I mean, that's just the way I was thinking about it. Like, well, I mean, you can't find it at that store, there's probably a GameStop two feet away, because let's, let's just face it, GameStops are a dime and a dozen. And that's it on that brand, because I went way too long on these two. <laughs> All right. Um, I also got Pedro this month. I did a BAM box review on it. It was an impromptu BAM box. If you want to see that video, the description is going to be in the description. The, the link is going to be in the description below. I'm so freaking dyslexic. But it is signed by the person who played Pedro, and that's all I'm going to say on that, because I reviewed it in the BAM box. Alright, next pop that I picked up, I picked up, um, Gohan from the Funko, the Funko Insider Club. I'm not a part of the Funko Insider Club, if you can believe that. But, of course, I'm trying to complete the Dragon Ball Z collection, which I believe is almost semi-complete. I have to go through and do a catalog on it, and I plan on doing a video of, let's catalog my Dragon Ball Z collection. And some of these videos might run long, so there might be multiple parts of things with plans coming down the line but i do have gohan funko insider club <sighs> which is funny because i bought this guy three or four days after san diego comic-con and there were still plenty of san diego comic-cons like the conans like the orange conan i didn't buy because i didn't buy it but he was still available he trust me if you have a billion game stops i think within my radius within my 25 mile radius i have six seven game stops so uh GameStop. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. Cat interruption. What's up? What you need? The next pop I picked up was Winifred Sanderson. They came out on Hot Topic. Um, I don't have the original three, and I think they're still available for a price that I'm not willing to pay. And this goes back into supply and demand because I will buy the original ones because they have the spirit sticker on them. Stupid stickers. But, so, with supply and demand, when it comes to pops, when you have, let's use, let's use these for example. There are only three of them 
ever made. They're making a three pack for Spirit this year, and last year they made the the three individual Sanderson sisters. So now that they have new ones with new traits, which I think are better than just regular old pops, because you know you've got the things and, like they all have something unique about them and their character. The price point for the ones from last year should in theory go down. I get it. There might be a limited release number of the Sanderson sisters from last year, which I don't know the numbers on them. And there's, I wish there was a database where you could figure out like the lot numbers and how many were issued. Um, because then you could really boil down on value. Because of that, we can't boil down on value. But based off the market and these coming out, there's more of these being made than there were of the spirits. So in theory, because there's more of a chance to get these, the price point of the last one should go down. It should. Um, or at least those who are holding down on them to sell them for a high markup, they, the price should go down. Kitty cat. I keep getting interrupted by my cat. But Sanderson, uh, Winifred Sanderson. And the next pop that I got was Darla from Shazam, um, signed by the actress because this came in my, my August BAM box. I did try to shoot a video for it, but I was in a very... It was just, I wasn't in the mood to make YouTube videos, and, you know, when I say life happens, and people scoff at it, it kind of irritates me a little bit, because I am battling my own inner demons, and trying to produce content for you guys, that's why I did the live stream about rebranding, because I really think about everything that I do, before I do it. So, I don't want to make a wrong decision, and I don't want to lose my, my subscriber base, based off of that, but I'm going to do what I want to do on YouTube, and sometimes it just takes time for people to get back into that habit. But I got her out of the BAM box, and I got a couple other things out of the BAM box, which makes me a little happy because now I'm probably going to, if they keep releasing the Shazam stuff, I'm probably going to have the entire cast, um, because I don't have anything from Shazam. I don't even think I got Shazam. I still have to watch the movie. I don't even think I got Shazam, but now I got Pedro and Paula, or Darla, and just me, Eugene, Mary, Freddie, and Shazam now. So, I'm gonna go watch this movie. She has a cute little signature with a little heart above it, too. Alright, so the next is a trio. I know that they released Spider-Man, but I got the Bettina, the Captain America, Iron Man, and Wolverine. Um, all the boxes, these were hard to get with mint boxes to begin with. Um, I'm not really a, a box freak anymore because whenever I get my official home that I'm going to stay in for the rest of my life most of these are coming out of the box and I'll be an out box collector but I still have to get Spider-Man I was glad to pick these three up and they're just to add to the Marvel collection all right so I was able to find this guy Pennywise with the blade the Walmart exclusive there's a billion Pennywises and I want them all um, I'm reading it as we speak I'm actually reading the book because I want to try and finish the book the book's like a thousand pages it's um, so, a lot of people weren't able to find him, um, if you're not able to find him yet, I don't know how his availability is now, but I found his display tucked away by the TVs, and he wasn't where the Funko Pops were kept. So just FYI, if you can't find him where the Funko Pops are, there's probably a display somewhere where they're not supposed to put the display. But I was able to pick him up, and then I was able to pick up this Pennywise. Pennywise is in the fun house. I want them all. So I just need Pennywise with the balloon, which I should have bought, but I was advised that the Hot Topic Nerdite thing was coming out, and I was trying not to, I was trying to save my money till the next day, and I was like, I'll just come back the next day, which is just a stupid thing to do. If you ever see a Hot Topic exclusive, especially with the It's, or anything that's super, super popular and is going to sell out, Hot Topic exclusives normally do sell out, so I'm not Hot Topic exclusive. Don't do what I did, and wait. Because I went back to get him and he wasn't here. The next pop I have is Abraham Lincoln. Of course, like I said, I love the American History Pops. I think it opens it up to a wider variety of collectors, honestly. Because a lot of people just like history or, or history buffs. And then it allows them to have a little piece of history. So I'm super happy to have him in my collection because I love history. Because I'm a part of history. <laughs> Everybody's a part of history. I know that sounds a little conceited. You're a part of history. I like... I used to, hmm, how do I explain this? If before I got my bachelor's degree in Homeland Security, I was getting a bachelor's degree in American military history. That's how much I loved military history. Uh, I changed it because I was doing something more practical because I didn't think that an American military history degree would get me anything. Honestly. 
I mean, I'm going to do 20 years in the Navy. I'm at 13 years in the Navy. What is an American military history bachelor's degree going to accomplish in the real world? Nothing. In this world, in this day and age, a bachelor's degree in Homeland Security is much more beneficial than a history degree. Doesn't mean that I don't still not love history. With that, I have Uncle Sam. We all know why I got Uncle Sam. We want you! Um, for the U.S. Army. Oh, the Army. The Navy beats Army all the time, so it's fine. Navy's better. Um, and if any of my friends who are in the Army <coughs> actually get, um, <laughs> I have a couple of friends in the army, we make fun of it all the time, but still, great pop to have. He's heavy, heavy weighted. If I could find another one, he'd be awesome to do in a glitter variant, but he's even got the, mm, he's got the finger. Finger and everything, I love it. Alright, and the next pop that I picked up from San Diego Comic Con, of course, was the red chrome, chrome Vegeta. You guys know that, of course, I was going to buy Vegeta. I have a huge Dragon Ball Z collection, which I'm going to break up into pieces and show you guys. So, but, red chrome Vegeta from... San Diego Comic Con. Oh my God. <sighs> Hold on. There's a there's a silver chrome Vegeta, right? Um, that I have to pick up too. That was released to a specific online store. Whenever I get more funds on Macari, um, I will definitely definitely go try and buy him off of Macari when the price point comes down. Cause I think he's at thirty five dollars. So in about about two three months, he should be around the twenty dollar range, and then I'll buy him. Should now don't quote me. Whenever I give advice on like supply and demand, price points, it's what I know based off of experience. And lately, um, that's what's been happening is I've been buying things at a very low, lower cost, not for retail unless shipping's included, blah, 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 blah. Um, because I don't mind waiting anymore for these things. Unless I know it's gonna be impossible to get, I will go get it. Um, the thrill of the hunt really isn't a thing for me anymore. So just don't take to heart what I say about, um, you know, price points and stuff. Because the last thing I need is you guys coming back and saying, You said his price point was going to come down in two months and blah, blah, blah. As of right now, yes, I am predicting that they're probably going to make another chrome variant pop of Vegeta. And make him purple because there is an episode where he is chrome purple. And they haven't made purple yet. So they should be making a purple, um... Don't quote me on that. I'm just assuming that he's going to be purple um, at one point. So, and then, like I said, supply and demand, hopefully the price point comes down. Unless it's a Toy Tokyo exclusive, doubt it. Because um, even the blue chrome Batman, the price point came down on him. He was $450 once and now he's more around the 300 So it, it comes down. It levels out. Um, well, let's move on to um, the next one. I got Gamora. This is the same as the Minerva Pop. I got it mainly because... I need it in my collection because I'm trying to complete the Marvel collection that'll never be complete. That's the only reason I buy some pops, is to com have the complete collection. <sighs> so the next pop I have, literally, I don't know why I bought it. The guy at GameStop didn't know why I bought it because it's this is a character that literally actually scares me. And it freaks me out. So I'm, I'm being vulnerable with you guys right now because I have a pop in my collection that scares the living shit out of me. Like, I can't... I love the Conjuring series, and I love the I love horror movies, but for some reason, this thing scares the crap out of me. The Nun. I don't even know why I bought it. Well, it looks it looks freaky. Yeah. I I do not like this character, but because they did such a great job, I I had to do a review on this character. I think maybe during the month of Halloween, I'll do. Ugh, ugh, yeah. It's gonna be sick. I don't. Uh, there's something about this character I don't like. Um, in the whole Conjuring series, just how it acts and how it interacts, and that it's a presence that can actually kill you, I think is more frightening to me, because it's a demon. Um, and, you know, ghosts don't scare me. Um, vampires, zombies don't scare me, obviously. We're doing State of Decay on my channel, and, and Resident Evil 2 is coming up too, and some other games are coming up where it's like, I love zombies and zombie films. Um... But when it comes down to this, like, I'm actually not feeling well right now. I just don't, yeah. So I got the nun. I mean, look at the, look at this. Oh, I'm just going to put you over there. I can't. I can't. I don't. Mm. But it is in my collection. Like, Pennywise doesn't scare me. Pennywise is a, is a immortal being from another dimension. He doesn't scare me. I, I think the only reason why I like Pennywise is because he's played by my cat. <laughs> really? 
I think the only reason I like Pennywise is because he's played by um, Peter Skarsgård. And I love the Skarsgårds. The whole family is fantastic. So up next, we do have another Pennywise. Um, this is just the regular Pennywise. How many variants of Pennywise are they doing? Comment down below if you know how many variants of Pennywise they're doing for this movie. Because I know for the last one, they had a couple. And I have three right here. So I have the normal one, the Funhouse one, and then, of course, the one with the blade. I don't know if they're doing any for, like, box lunch or any other... Like, if there's a chase, I don't know if there's a chase either. So if you have that info, comment down below. By the way, if you contact me on Instagram asking me for release dates of Pops... I don't know when things come out. I don't track when pops come out. It's a personal decision of mine. Usually when I buy pops, it's because my Hot Topic on their Facebook page posted something. I'm like, oh, they're coming out with that. Great. Now I need to go buy it. Um, and that's the only way I'm made aware of what's available. I do kind of know what's coming out, but it's only within like a week or two. So I can't, I'm not the person to give release dates. If anybody wants information about pops in general, FM McGinnis does a great podcast style of Funko news that'll give you all the information you need about the release dates of Pops. I know I'm at Real Funko, people probably are like, you know a lot about Pops. I don't pay attention to shipping dates or release dates. When it comes out and I want it, I buy it. Just to be honest, because I've had a couple people contact me on Instagram asking me when something's going to come out, and I honestly, I'm like, I don't know. It's not, I don't track. So, sorry. <laughs> and the last two, I'm just going to show the last two together since they're related. Oh, actually, I got one more. Sorry. So I got Mary Sanderson, and then I've got Sarah Sanderson. This one is a... I need to buy a new one. This one might be Sacrifice to the Glitter Gods, because... I came upstairs, and then I dropped... What did I drop on her? Because I had a whole bunch of stuff. I think I dropped... I think I dropped a, a bottle of pasta sauce on her, because... Uh, the bag... It was either that or the box of Cheerios, but the bag ended up breaking and landing on this pop specifically and they were all in the same bag together but she was she was sacrificed to the glitter god so i'm probably just gonna she's got bad luck um so see you could tell her box just got wrecked but i'm gonna buy a new one um because there's there's certain things about boxes if the box is on the back or a little rippled or there's damage on the back of the box i'm like whatever it's about the front of the box but this is some major structural damage that i can't fix because sometimes you can like you fix it straightened out but she's i just need to buy a new one of her <laughs> um because oopsies oopsies so and then of course i got mary sanderson um and yeah She'd be fun to glitter too, but she has a lot of complicated characters. And I love that she's got the little, the, the, the Chief's Puffs ball and she's watching TV and all that stuff. So I got the complete Sanderson Sisters set pending a new box for um, that Sarah, for Sarah Sanderson. Sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't, I don't treat my pops with disrespect, but her box is ruined anyway. It can't get any worse. Like, like this one right here. So this pop, this pop was supposed to be sold on Makari, but he's being sacrificed to the Glitter Gods because a cat stepped on it. Like, this is... Beware. Cats can be destructive to your pops, but he's gonna be redecorated. And the last pop I got, um... I got King Triton, which will be coming out of the box and going up there, um... with the rest of the six inches, but he can cool glitter, too. Really happy that they're making more of the Little Mermaid pop. See? I'm just... I'm bad luck. So the nuns bring me bad luck. Oh, shit. Drink your coffee. Why did you say that? Mmm. This be bothered by it. My whole collection gets possessed because I brought the nun in here and I recognize it as something that I feared and now... Crazy. So I am happy that they're making more aerial pops like Scuttle, Chef Louie. I still need the Tenants Ursula. I need that Ursula. And Ursula is another one of those things where they only had one pop of Ursula and she was at a price point the original pop release of like $300. I'm pretty sure her price point has come down because supply and demand, ladies and gentlemen. There are more pops of Ursula now, so she should be... I don't know if she main is maintaining her value. I haven't looked up at the value, honestly. But in theory, the price should come down to at least $200. In my, this is just my estimation. I would have to go look it up. Um, Ursula with the eels, Prince Eric. We got another Prince Eric instead of just him in his suit. And then... We got a new variant of Ariel with the bag that she carries around so she can, you know, get the dingle hopper and stuff like that. But 
really happy about this. So that is it for this video. I know these ones are going to be a little longer. They're either going to be as long or as short as they need to be because, let's face it, 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24 pops that I bought in July. So it's, it's going to vary. And I've got pops on the way to me. I think I bought three pops the other day. There is a pop in the other room that I'm about to go get and open up on camera right now. Um, so, like, these guys are going to go into a pile to be sorted. And then I'm going to start a new pile for August and do this in August as well. Comment down below what you think, what you like, what your favorite character is, that whole shebang. Hopefully you guys like it that I just do monthly hauls instead of weekly and daily hauls. I'm kind of kind of over it rather do other content than hey this is what I bought because let's face it everybody's buying the same thing because it's new all these pops are new pops none of them are, are old pops um so yeah it's like the only I think it's the only thing that's going to happen on the channel that's relatively new when it regards to pops because I kind of want to go back to like hey this is this is what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about some old pops. We're going to be doing some collection reviews and stuff like that. So that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, sorry if I let something slip. That nun is freaking creepy. Um, I do have a, a mouth because I am a sailor. So you could just, you could just deal with it. Um, but that's it for now. I hope you guys like the content coming to my channel. Thank you everybody who showed up to the live stream yesterday. I hope you guys enjoy what's coming out tomorrow. Because we're playing State of Decay tomorrow. And we're going to be starting to play video games. We're going to be starting to do other things. Arts and crafts. Ladies and gentlemen, Admiral Funko is doing whatever the hell she wants now. So, I love you guys. Thank you guys for showing up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Oh, coffee's kind of cold now. And I think you're funny in my mind. So we move in this colorful night. And we stay here. Away from the crowd and under the lights